with us. Speaking for the whole crew, we're here at the Fairway in Natick, Massachusetts for three strings of panel pin bowling, total pin ball determining our winner. Each of our bowlers takes home a permanent souvenir. These are provided by Din Brothers of Boston and Holyoke. Each will take home some guaranteed prize money. $700 to the winner, $350 to the runner-up, $50 to the winner of each string, and obviously if they tie a string, we split that at $25 apiece. We have a $50 gift certificate, which goes to the marks for the day, the bowler with the most marks. That's from Rotman's Furniture of Worcester. And uh, speaking of Rotman's Furniture, Tom Osta has an opportunity to win three in a row today, and if they, he is successful, he would receive a luxurious velvet recliner from Berkline with the extra deep padding even under the legs, and it reclines just two inches from the wall. But more important than that, the home viewer on that particular day, if it happens to be today, would also win a Berkline recliner. All right, let's talk to today's bowler, shall we? Don Richmond, first of all, I, I don't know how many championships you can have. Right now, you're a champion with Joanne Rosano on our double show, Ed Harding Show. Uh, and you, you would kind of like to be on both at the same sure, time as Why not? <laughs> <laughs> when you're hot, just like the summer, you know. Like why not? Hot outside, might as well stay hot both. <laughs> right. <laughs> and again. A, speaking of hot, you two guys have been pretty hot together uh, as a team in international competition, too, oh, haven't yes. you? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I couldn't get a, a much better bowler, or uh, actually a group of, uh, of better bowlers, I should say. That's right, because it's not just you two, obviously. Right. Uh, I was looking at your record. You've got a lot of 400s, and you've still never been on our championship show, huh? About time, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the scores get higher and higher, too, so, I mean, <laughs> that's happens. <laughs> Tom knows that because uh, even last week, he was in a situation of rolling a 149 middle, and he needed a 149 uh, in, the, in the third string in order to knock off our fifth-place guy, Steve Adney. Yeah, the scores are really good this year. They're up there. It's nice to see good scores like that all the time. They've been there all year long. That's right, they have. And that's why when you see the home viewer jackpot thing, with the, the, it's so big because people are still guessing a little bit lower than the scores have been. Okay, you two guys are great, and I'm looking forward to a good match between two good guys. We'll get started right after this. Challenger Don Richmond of Holbrook. High single 199, high triple 510, league average 123. <laughs> Great way to start. First bonus ball winds up with a spread eagle. Total fill will be six. Right now he still has on the left side two, four, and seven plus the three pin. It's a nine. Now Tom Ulster, high single 209, high triple 504, current league average 130. Diamond left. Two, four, five, and eight. Yes, sir, he made the diamond. Bonus. Eight, leaving the four and seven. Just made it. I mean, just. And basically, it missed it. Piece of wood finally rolled in, and after staggering for a little while, it toppled over. Now, Don Richmond. This is Don's 24th appearance on our program. Two, four, five, and seven left. Ten pin alone on the right. No wood. Nice shot, and he scared that 10-pin, boy. 
Put one right past it. It's a 10. Don is the 1983 Massachusetts Bowling Association Open Singles Champion and the 1985 Mixed uh, Doubles Champion, as I told you right now, with Joanne Rosano on our Cattlepin Double Show. Triangle on the left side. Four, seven, eight. He's representing Wright Brothers Sports Center in Holbrook. Almost uh, with an opportunity to pick up some bonus money for three marks in a row. Seven is the fill, and he's looking at a triangle on the right side. This one is made up of the three, five, six. No wood. And he's got it. $50 in bonus money. It's alive now, so each consecutive mark in this same string would be worth $50 a piece as long as he could do it. Five is the fill. He's looking at one, three, four, seven, and nine. He left the four and seven. It's a ten. First check on the scoreboard after four boxes of the first string. And with a bonus ball still to be thrown by our challenger, Don Richmond, the score right now is Tom Olsta, 60, and Don Richmond, 45. Challenger Don Richmond, Holbrook, Massachusetts, rolling in the fifth and sixth boxes, and he's working on a spare in the fourth. This is the fill. It's six, leaving four horsemen right side. One, three, six, and ten. Missed the head pin, punched out the three pin. Missed them all for a seven. Don is employed as an electronic technician. He's married, has one son, DJ. One, two, and seven with wood in between the two and the seven. Made it. Spare leave with the four and seven and two pieces of wood right across the front of them. Nine-pin drop. Nine-pin is the one to pick up for another spare. This is the 55th regular appearance, regular show appearance, and of course, Tom has also appeared in eight of our live shows, the championship shows. He has another. Tom is married and has two children. He's employed as a salesman. Now Don Richmond. Working on a spare. The fill is six, and it's an unusual configuration right now because he has the three, the five, the nine, and the ten 
However, there's wood right across the 9 and 10. Didn't get the 5. Al Giglio, as usual, keeping score on the electronic scoreboard, and Keith Williams keeping score on the big board for the folks who are here. Now Don Richmond on the line. Lane three here at the fairway. Good spare lead, five and nine. Piece of wood just rolled across in front of the five. Now it's coming back. He doesn't want it there. Rolling back and forth. He wants it out of there so he can go right at the five and nine. But he's going to have to leave it there and try to just get the... No, it turned out to be a roadblock. Thought maybe he'd be able to, to drive it through, but it didn't work. It was a roadblock. It's still a roadblock, and he leaves the five pin. Ralph Stewart has gone down to get a spinning ball, and Don now presses the button. And the applause, of course, is for Ralph. All right, Tom Osta has put together three marks for $50 in bonus money, then was open with a 10 box, now has two more and another chance for some bonus money. He's got a great shot. He's knocked down nine pins. He's got the four pin. However, now he's getting a piece of wood that may turn out to be difficult. The wood gives, but the wood also takes away. Should be all right. I think he can get it. He got it. Another $50 in bonus money. 100 now. Once again, Ralph has to go to work to take a check on the piece of wood that's in front of number one. The pins that are standing are one, seven, and nine. And Ralph is right down there taking a look to see whether that piece of wood is, it's rolling back, it's in play. It went behind the deadwood line. It was out near it and Ralph had to take a look. The three, the seven, the nine. Yes! He has four in a row. And another $50 in bonus money. Challenger Don Richmond. Don looking now at the four horsemen right side. And again, Ralph gets up to go down and check on a piece of wood. It's rolling back. Quick reminder, the deadwood line is exactly two feet from the middle of the head pin toward the bowler. And anything touching it or this side of it is removed. Anything not touching it and staying behind it has to stay. Don missed the head pin, got the other three. A 10. Our high-low jackpot at an all-time high. The 1710 is at $1,925, and our home viewer is up to 700. Don Richmond looked like he was going to get either a strike or a nine-pin drop. Instead, he got eight, and the two pins standing are a long way apart. The four and the 10. Oh, a beautiful shot. He used the piece of wood and made it beautifully done. Love to watch the veteran cattle pin bowlers who know the angles.
So there are six more pins. It's not the fill he wanted, but at least he got six more. And a 119. His league average is 123. Tom Osta has four marks in a row, and of course, each successive mark right now is worth $50 as long as he can keep it going. So close to a hammer. Everything down except the six pin, which did not go. Now the single for $50 more. He's got it. $200 in bonus money. And going into the final box of the first string. He was too full on the head pin. He got six, but he has left the two and three side by side plus the six and ten. Now he's got a piece of wood that's to the left of the uh, two pin. And uh, I'm pretty sure he'll try to utilize that to move it over to get from two to the. He tried, but it didn't work. Two more, it was an eight box, and he left the goalpost, the two and the three. Congratulations from Don Richmond after his international team partner and today's opponent, Tom Olsta, has rolled a 158 opening string to pick up another $50 for winning that first string by the score of 158 to 119. As our regular viewers know, in the middle string, our defending champion leads it off. Here's Tom Olsta from Sturbridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> 2, 4, 5, 7, 8 on the left, 10 pin alone on the right, no wood. Got all except the 5 and 8. It's a 10. Now has the same two pins, the five and the eight, but this time not for a 10, but for a spare. And he made it. Now today's challenger, Don Richmond of Holbrook, Massachusetts. John made his, uh, uh, excuse me, Don made his first appearance ag against John Stella. And that was October 25th, 1980. One, two, nine, and ten, and one piece of wood off to the left of the two pin. Yes, he used the wood perfectly, banged it off the side wall, it came back and got the nine and ten. Big nine, and the only pin up, the 10 pin, rocked back and forth, but did not go down. Oh. Too bad. There was a piece of wood in the gutter, and he touched it, diverted the ball, and he never did get at the 10. So instead of having a second consecutive spare, he wound up with a 10. Now Tom Olsta working on a spare. Six is what he got. He's got the two pins, seven, eight, and 10, but a lot of good wood. And he used it. He had three pieces of wood and they were all in good position to be hit just as he did. Now here's the same setup. This time he's got the two, seven, eight, and ten. However, he does not have the good wood that he had before. He's got some, but he doesn't have the same ones. He almost pulled it off. He kicked a piece of wood over toward the ten, but it's still there.
waiting for some wood to settle down before he fires. And he left the 10 pin. That brings up Don Richmond. While I have an opportunity, I've already mentioned Al Giulio, Keith Williams, and Ralph Stewart. Don Riley is our statistician and coordinator. Phil Rubin is our producer and director. Don Richmond, today's challenger, kind of bounced that one off the football line and it went left. So he's got the one, two, three, five, six, and ten. But he made it for the spare. Our crew today is Skip Peabody, Jeff Sullivan, John Rosenfeld, and Bob Armitage, and in post-production videotape, George Eller. Thin head, he got five. And basically what he left was the diamond left plus the seven. Two, four, five, and eight making up the diamond, but he also has the seven pin. Nice, made it. So as we come to the end of four boxes in the middle string with a bonus ball still to be thrown by Don Richmond, our challenger, the score right now is Richmond 54 and Ulster 51. Tom Ulster making his 55th regular appearance on this program. He has a single pin to pick up for a spare. It's the four pin. He's got a piece of wood that uh, it's getting out of the way now. It was not in a good spot. Tom's first appearance on our program was back in 1973, also in the month of October. Tom's been on eight of our postseason championship shows. And the way he's going, he may have a shot at getting on again. Right now he has a nine pin drop. He's got one pin, the eight pin, with four pieces of wood around it, one of which may be, nope, they're all in place, says Ralph Stewart, who went down and looked. So Tom wants to go up to the football line and get a better look because he has to drive through four pieces of wood before he gets at the eight pin. He went to the right, took out uh, one that was sticking out of the little corner and swept it. Ralph's working hard today. He's down there on his hands and knees getting two pieces of wood that were in the left gutter plus a ball. All right, Don Richmond now working on a spare. He has two in a row. This is for three in a row. Everything down except the nine pin. Nine pin drop. Three pieces of wood in front of it. It appears that he'll be able to drive it through. No, it turned out to be a roadblock. From here, of course, I'm not right behind him, but from where I was, I thought he'd be able to drive it through. But instead, it's split, one on each side. Sure, hate to have that happen. But as we've often said, the wood gives, but the wood also takes away. Four horsemen left side, and the 10 pin with wood in front of the 10. Nope. He missed the head pin and going for the one two pocket. Got just the two. Now the head pin missed it again on the other side. It's an eight box. 
All right, Tomos uh, has four marks in this middle string. However, it was 10, then two spares, then nine, now two more spares. So for bonus money, he needs to put one up on the board right now. It appears he will. Everything is down except the seven pin. And he has wood in front of it. But this time, it's not a roadblock. It's favorable wood right across it. He's got it. Another $50 in bonus money. He was too full on the head pin, wound up with a split, got six. Three pin is the object pin. He's got three, six, ten on the right, four pin over on the left, and he missed the three pin. No, Ralph, no, no overtime, no. <laughs> he is working a lot harder today. <laughs> All that exercise for Ralph just gets him ready for walking the beach at Aruba. All right, Don Richmond now. Too full on that head pin. He's looking now at two, four, seven, and eight, uh, nine, excuse me, wood in front of the nine, and wood between the two and the four. Oh, he had to hit the two pin. Didn't get it. Nice 10, nice shot for a 10. Don Richmond's had two opportunities to make spares in the last two boxes and had some tough luck. The seven and the eight are the two pins standing. In front of it, however, three pieces of wood. Two horizontal near it, one perpendicular out where the two would be. And, oh, no, he got the eight, but the seven didn't go. Here are three boxes in a row that you thought he would be able to mark, and he got tough breaks. Those last three were definitely no luck boxes. Tom Osta. Tom. Wood came back to hit the two pin. He's got two and six, and you know that they're very close to a parallel plane. Let's see if he can move it left to right or off the sidewall. Neither work. He seems to prefer to go sidewall, which means hitting it on the right side, banging it off the left sidewall, particularly because he had a piece of wood over there and he had a double chance if they came off the sidewall to come back and get the six. Three pins over on the right hand side. It's the uh, three, six and nine with wood to the right and he has a seven pin alone over in the corner. Let's see if he can get the three and move it over. No, didn't happen. So the best he can do would be a 135. 134. <laughs> 292. Now Don Richmond. Don has three pins over on the right. It's the six, nine, and 10. 
Made it. Spare in the ninth. 111 plus. Seven is the fill. Two, four, and ten. Two pieces of wood to the right of the two and four, which could go over and get the ten if he hits this properly. Got the two and four set wood over. In fact, there's a piece spinning around like a top in front of it right now. One twenty-seven. Let's see if he makes it one twenty. Just as he starts to deliver, the wood starts to move. One twenty-eight. So another fifty dollars in bonus money for Tom Osta as he has won the middle string one thirty-four to one twenty-eight, and he leads by forty-five pins going into the third two ninety. Don Richmond, our challenger today. the way to start off the third. Big strike. Nine pin drop with the first, the seven pin still up. It's a spare. Don Richmond, as I told you, came on first in 1980. He was unsuccessful as a challenger in 80, 81, 82, and 84, and finally won his first championship in 1985, and then was on for a pretty good stretch. Tom Osta. Half Worcester right as he punched out three and nine. Nope. I'm sure you've already done the arithmetic and figure out that uh, Tom needs a 143 to eliminate Steve Vadney in fifth place for our championship. Nine. No wood to help. He's looking at two, five, and seven. Punched out the two. That was the five and seven for a ten. Now Don Richmond. Don working on a spare. Seven is the fill, but he has a split. Four and seven on the left with wood. Ten alone over on the right. He tried to get some sidewall action, but there just wasn't enough, and it only came about halfway across and then into the pit. Nine. Seven and ten. As Wood just to the right of the two pin. Oh. 
What a surprise. The two, the seven, and the ten went, but the four are still there. To nine. The last time Don Richmond was on was a couple of years ago in 1990, and he had a nice long streak. He was on for seven weeks. And in that time, rolled a 422 and a 410 and a 419 and a 417. But lost when Alfie Johnson rolled a 413 against him on in the seventh week. Almost uh, looking at Diamond left. He made it for a spare. Needs just 108 for another $100 for 400. Ooh, got a break. For a moment, he had side by side pins in the four and five. And behind that, the seven and eight. The five is down, so now he's looking at the triangle made up of the four, seven, and eight, but he also has wood to help. He's got it, two in a row. A lot of folks that I could hear behind me, probably you, maybe some of you at home were doing it. Saying, well, he's got to hit it on the red. No, he's got to hit it a little higher than that. No, he's got to hit it on the red. Well, anyway, he did it right. Oh, too bad. Don Richmond has a spread eagle. That's the right side. He left the two pin. Five and seven. Now let's see what happens to the wood. I guess it's gonna stay where it is. Two pieces off to the right. Another one which is between the five and seven, but I doubt that it will be in play. Don tried to use a piece of wood that was to the right to deflect the ball into the five and get set in the seven, and instead the ball took off and went right between the two of them. Airborne. Next week's challenger is also a teammate of these two in the international team competition, Mike Morrow. All right, now let's see whether it's going to be another $50 in bonus money for Tom Olsta. He has two marks in a row. Will it be three? Yes! A hammer. Well, he's got a tough split here. He's got the uh, six and seven. And there's a piece of wood in a not a very good position. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Oh, take another look at the way he moved that six over to get the seven. What a beautiful shot. $450 in bonus money. Don Richmond has a nine pin drop. Don Richmond has a spare in the seven. Don Richmond. Nice, he has a hammer on top of his spare. Up comes Tom Ostra after a sensational spare. And it, uh, you have to think that there probably is no shot that he cannot make because he's made so many in 55 previous appearances on our regular show. Six is the fill, make it seven. Another one just top of. Now he's looking at one, seven, and nine. 
Yes. Another spectacular Tom Ulster spare. No wonder he's considered the very best. And a strike on top of that. $550 in bonus money at 123 and two boxes to go. I told you he needs a 143 to eliminate Steve Vadney. Don Richmond gets a nine pin drop on the first ball. He has another. And oh, he didn't get it. Oh. Too bad. One forty three for Tom Osta would eliminate Steve Vadney, would put him at four thirty five. Don Richmond's final box, he's at one twenty one. Four horsemen left side. Nope. And it's a nine. And congratulations to Tom Osta. Tom right now at 123, two bonus balls to roll, two boxes to go. Seems no doubt that he will probably move up to third place. Maybe second, who knows? There's another strike. Now he has a chance to add $1,000 in bonus money for three consecutive strikes. First bonus ball gets him seven. He's already, as you know, passed uh, Steve Abney. Now, will this be for a spare? Yes! Wow, it came back and got it. One seventy. And another ball to roll. gets seven more. A 177. Four sixty-nine, and that jumps him all the way up past Peter Surratt into second place. And bumps Jack Ray out of the alternate spot and puts Steve Batney in the alternate spot right now. 469. And the final score in this third string, 177, 130. That's another $50 for Tom, and he wins it 469 to 377. Well, the total is 846, so I'm not sure that uh, the person is going to necessarily win. They'll have 10 pins either side and could win $700. However, you know that. The name that I draw, just because of what Tom did in winning three in a row, the home viewer will receive the handsome Berkliner recliner. How about that? A luxurious velvet recliner from Berkline, extra deep padding even under the legs, reclines just two inches from the wall. Tom will get one uh, from uh, Rotman's Furniture, and this person will too. But also, with an opportunity, I doubt, but we'll have a guess that high, near 846 but it would be worth seven hundred dollars if 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 all right let's dig down deep here somewhere and see what we can find okay this one comes from uh, Jewett City Connecticut and it's W Zatorsky and the guess is 739 so next week it's going to be worth seven hundred and fifty dollars uh, and right now Paul Berger, of course, is in first place. Tom Oster is in second place with a 469. 
Peter Surratt, 453, Jack Quinn, 437, Tom O'Brien, 436, and Steve Vadney now becomes the alternate, and uh, Jack Ray has been eliminated from that position. Also, the, uh, Paul Berger has the highest that we've ever had, single 500, and the guy who has the second and third highest is Tom Oster with a 483 and a 469. Okay, we have... Uh, we have a high-low jackpot, and it's up to $1,925. So, Tom, you've already made $1,500 today, so... <laughs> okay, Don. to 1950. Come on over here, guys, if you would, please. Don, it was nice having you here. The last time you were here, you had a nice long run, but not this time, huh? So only the $350, no bonus money, but how could you when the way he was going today, huh? Some days you have it, and some days you, uh, you don't. All right, you, you get from, from Din Brothers, it'll be inscribed, and, 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 and uh, you know it was a day that your teammate uh, went wild, right? <laughs> Uh, you're also our marksman of the day from Rotman's Furniture, $50 gift certificate, plus the recliner, which I've already mentioned to you. And you had $800 in bonus money, plus $700 for winning. And uh, from Din Brothers, you get this. And next week, another of your teammates, Mike Morrow, will be your challenger. We'll be here. You'll be here, too. Bye-bye, everybody.